Welcome to my fragrance show. We'll learn together and grow together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my fragrance show. I am Marshall's Blends Fragrance, and today we're gonna be smelling Milano Fragancia. Milano Fragancia. And the two fragrances that I'll be actually wearing from that house are Galleria, Galleria, and La Prima. La Prima. Meaning, I guess in this case it means the first, right? La Prima Ballerina or Prima Donna. This house, Milano Fragancia, comes from the same person who owns um, Mask Milano. That's Alessandro Bruno. Alessandro Bruno, right? It's an amazing human being, artist, music, uh, just a really cool guy. I'm excited to try these out. La Prima and Galleria. So let's talk first about La Prima. As per uh, Fragrantica, the main accords are white floral, floral, vanilla, fruity, musky, aromatic, powdery, citrus, sweet, warm, spicy. The nose behind this fragrance is Violin Coyas. Violin Coyas. The notes are Davana, cardamom, bergamot, osmanthus, orange blossom, jasmine, bourbon, vanilla, and musk. This sounds like one that I will like. It sounds very springy, right? Like it'll be good for spring or maybe even summer, I wonder. But that vanilla, I'm excited to have that vanilla come out. So I'll spray it on my left side. Ooh, yes, white florals, absolutely. I'm getting like magnolia, I'm getting Ooh, that vanilla is so good. Orange blossom, yeah, jasmine. This is a really nice, I even get iris. I'm picking up iris. This is really, really good. Oh, from the opening. And there's woods in there. I, I don't know if there's, there's definitely woods. Even though it's not said there, there's definitely woods in there. Oh, that musk is just really happy. I would definitely say it is, um, feminine leaning. If you like white florals and you like rocking florals, this is one you could check out if you're a guy because the musk does add the masculinity to it. Did I finish spraying it? Almost finished spraying it. I like it. This one gets an automatic 46 out of 10 as far as uh, gifting a floral or white floral fragrance. You, as I say, if you know the person doesn't like florals, don't give them a floral fragrance. It's very different. It's very different. Okay, so that was La Prima. Now we're gonna go into Galleria. And I am gonna be going out to run an errand. I'll be coming back to tell you guys what my experience is with these fragrances. Um, how they behave, how they metabolize. I'm gonna say metabolize because I'm gonna be walking a lot. I'm gonna be sweating. So I'll use the word metabolize. Galleria by Milano Fragrance. The main accords here are Leva, Iris, Powdery, Coffee, Warm, Spicy, Animalic, Woody, Earthy, Fruity, and Smoky. So this one seems more like a night scent. More like a, oh, I loved what I just bumped into in La Prima. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, I would definitely get it for myself. Uh, so what I'm expecting from Galleria is something more night, something more deep, something more powerful, something that is uh, fall, maybe even maybe even winter. Um, we'll see, we'll see. I am digging it. I'm digging La Prima. So La Prima, I, it's been elevated in the floral fragrances. It's been elevated to a 50 out of 10. Now, as a regular gift, again, I say, so I'm saying this as a gift to a person who likes florals, it's a 50 out of 10. 
So now Galleria. The nose behind Galleria is Dominique Mulhausen. Dominique Mulhausen is the uh, nose behind this fragrance. And the notes are coffee, red fruit, violet leaf, davana, citruses, leva, orris root, orange leaf, carrot seed, patchouli, amber, and sandal with the sounds like a winter fragrance. It sounds like a winter fall fragrance. I don't know if this is one that you should use in the summer. We are just entering spring, so I can get away with it. Ooh, I get the auris immediately. Ah, and the amber. This is really good. This is really good. This is really good. And now I would not get it. It's not one that I would get for myself but I recognize that it's really, really well made. But I would not get it for myself. I get off the bat smelling it, I can tell you, no, this is not one that I would want to rock. And I'll tell you why. It's the blend of the oris and the leather in the opening. Whatever accord was used to create that leather, um, it could be birch tar, could be saffron, but the blend with the oris in the opening, not, I, I'm not caring for it. But I, ooh, very smoky. It's very smoky. I know that there are people who would fall in love with this. This, uh, it's a, it's a semi-saffronic leather with this oris that it, it's almost leaning, buttery oris, and a smokiness that I'm assuming is being uh, developed via maybe whatever was used to create the coffee note. It's a great smell. And if you like um, leathery fragrances, this I would give it like a 35 to 38 out of 10. It's good, it's good. Just that I don't like that blend of the, uh, I don't know if, It's, it's saffron. It, it, saffron is in that accord, that leather accord. I don't like that blend with the Auris. It does something, it does something that I'm not too, um, it's not so great on me. That's what I mean. But yeah, it gets a 35 to 38. So the openings are good openings. They are good for what they say they are. This one claims it's white floral, floral fragrance. It's definitely that, absolutely wonderful. Really happy smelling. And this one is a galleria. It's a, it's a nighttime going out. The, I, I, you know what? I I will stand corrected. I, you know when I would wear this? No, I wouldn't get it. But you know when I would wear this? If I were going out on a night to like a museum or something like that. Because even though it is a leather fragrance, it's not uh, extremely heavy. You know? It's not strong. It's not dense. It's not dense. But I like I like it. I like it. But it's not one that I would purchase. La Prima? I would purchase. So I'll be back after running my errands and see you guys soon. I'm back and it's been about six hours of wear and I still smell it. I still smell them. Galeria has become almost powdery musky with a little bit of a darkness. And uh, La Prima is soft. They're definitely a skin scent. So I would say that they'll last you excuse me cochino they'll project beautifully both of them for the first two hours they will be projecting um after those two hours they start to come in closer to you and i can honestly say by hour six they're a pleasant skin scent maybe a little bit more i had somebody smell it actually about a half hour ago and they really liked it and they could pick it up stronger than i can pick it up now so i can definitely say it it's a eight hour fragrance but the last maybe two hours will probably be skin i don't know how long it'll last but after six hours it becomes a skin scent it becomes a skin scent and so i'm sure it'll last probably another two hours and then after that probably be gone um but i enjoyed wearing both of them what i have to admit is that galeria does become something i would purchase so I wish it would open with this and then become uh, something better. 
but it is a good a good leather fragrance. I love La Prima. So the scores remain, and I hope you guys are having a good start of your week. Happy Monday, everybody. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't hit the subscribe button. Press that like button. You know what I mean? It would be nice to be able to have it be that, like, let's say there's 10 views, there's 10 likes. But I guess there may be some unlike. I don't know. Whatever. Goodbye, my lovely fragrance blenders. I'll see. And smell you soon. Ciao, chibediamo. Love you guys. <laughs>